Hey, soul family, what is going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the darn thing today for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Thank you so much for being here, guys, and clicking on this video. I'm going to just start jumping right in here. You guys know the drill. If you watch readings, then you know that these are general. And what that means is that some of the messages may resonate for you and some of them may not. So take the parts that do, keep them for yourself, and leave the parts that do not resonate, all right? Those are for the other people. Um, it also means that anything can come up in this reading. I may read several different things in here like finances, career, love, family, drama, gossip, I don't know. Um, but I do my best to pick up as many messages as possible in here, okay? I don't always just read one sort of storyline, all right? Um, anything you need to know about me, like following me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff, you can find that in the description box below. And last but not least, if you guys like this video, if you get a little nugget for yourself, please go ahead and show your girl some love if it resonates at all, uh, and hit the like button. All right. Oh, the devil is out, Libra. I thought we were going to do this. Uh, if you guys really, really like it, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and become part of the tribe. Thank you so much. Let's get going here. Spirit messages for Libra, please. Messages for Libra. Ooh, Libra, you are leaving some stuff. Oh, better leave that at the door. That's the first thing that comes from, <laughs> from this reading. All right. What else do we have here for Libra? November 1st through the 15th, please. <clears throat> what else do we have here? Please come with her for Libra. Thank you. All right. Oh, Libra, you are healing from heartbreak, honey. Okay. Yes. All right, Libra. Oh, I'm excited. Give me just one more second, guys. I'm almost done, okay? Talk to me about Libra for November, please. What else? What's the overall energy, please, of the spread for Libra? Overall energy of the spread. Thank you. Oh, we have some anxiety and stuff there. Oh, boy. Judgment, Queen of Wands. Bitch, you better look out. Okay, that's all I gotta say. Libra is, like, on some other stuff right now. I'm gonna try to get through this without cursing. Because right now... <laughs> Woo, I don't know how to feel. All right, Libra, um, it looks to me like some of you are getting over a broken heart. All right, you're letting go of some pain, some pain that was um, happening in your heart there. Aries, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. We're starting this thing out with the damn devil. That's why I was like, all right, what is going on here, Libra? So um, you have the devil, the uh, eight... Six of Wands, sorry, Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. You are letting go of some really toxic, heavy, I feel like people, all right? I just feel like people are clamoring for you, and you're just like, no, 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 not today, Satan, okay? Um, literally, like, some of y'all probably say that, like, not today, Satan, I feel you. Um, you're letting go of really heavy, toxic people who um, I almost feel like you have to like defend yourself from them. You're always 
listening to them. You're always kind of carrying their burdens for them or whatever. Like you're doing, you're doing a lot. This feels like a lot of other people and a lot of heaviness of other people's stuff. You have your own worries, Libra. You can't do it for everybody. Okay. Toxic people, toxic heaviness, toxic energy, people and things that weigh you down. They're always trying to like take from you and get from you opportunists, right? Letting go of that. You're getting those people out of your life. You don't want to have to make these kind of decisions, but you know that you need to, okay? Two of Wands in reverse. You know, maybe feeling a little bit stuck right now, not knowing what direction or what you need to do, where you need to go. Um, but I feel like you're going to get some sort of divine healing or inspiration that's going to really help shake off this energy, okay? You got a lot of Cancer Pisces Scorpio going on here. So um, I think you're going to start getting more in touch in November with what you really want to do, right? Because I almost feel like this is the crowd that's like been holding you back, Libra. Like this is all the stuff that's been holding you back. And some of this could have just been you too. You just have heaviness. You know, we have the 10 here with the 10 of wands. So ending a cycle, I just think you're ending a cycle of being you know, with these people who have held you back, um, having to really be like defensive about it too. Like, why am I defending these jackass people who don't defend me? Right. They don't stick up for me. They don't care about me. They don't care where I go or what I'm doing. And I care more about them. All right. So I feel like you're coming more in touch with, with your feelings about yourself and where you want to, the direction you want to be going here in November. Yeah, there's a lot of you just like, you know what, cry two tears in a bucket. You already know the rest. Um, so we've got eight of swords here, strength, and Cancer Pisces Scorpio again. Could be walking away from a partnership. Or a friendship with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, it's pretty heavy here. Or Aries Leo Sag. So, um, and then you have strength. You're you're trying to get the strength to walk away from, from things that it just keeps. I just keep getting a lot of other people and it makes you feel stuck. Like you keep sabotaging yourself getting in relationships with people. And this is a message here, whether it's relationships, friendships, whatever. Okay, uh, entanglements, situationships, um, you get yourself into these things and then it's like either you just end up leaving empty handed all the time or you're just always stuck because of it, right? So you don't want to be stuck anymore. This is having the courage to release yourself from that eight of swords energy that sabotaging energy that holding yourself back that having fears right getting more in touch with your emotions um being honest with yourself with that moon there it's like revealing the secret that you hide getting honest with yourself that sometimes you're just fucking afraid and you hang on to people because you're afraid maybe i don't know right but you're working up the courage here to start walking away from all of these things that have been making you feel very trapped and stuck in this way all right letting go of people things ideas that hurt you that break your heart oh baby and when those swords fall out mm, and that heart mends it can love all over again. So you could be letting go, especially of uh, a person here. It could be Aries with the Emperor. Um, or it could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the Queen. Listen, there really is an agenda in tarot. So take it as it resonates for you. But there was a situation ship or something going on here that you're healing from. I almost feel like for some of you, this is a father figure. And maybe why some of this stuff crops up for you of like keeping certain kinds of people around you is because you have this you have like a thing with your father or there's like you know heartache there's something around your dad where it's like you end up in these relationships where I don't know like it's not that people don't stick around it's just that people just don't know how to treat you like they don't pay attention they don't know your love language they don't try to put in the energy that you put in and that's with anything i feel like for some of you libra okay so you're healing you're doing a lot of healing and you're becoming stronger you're becoming stronger the more you let go of any heartache 
anything that's really hurt you um, in the past or even just recently, the stronger you become with this Aries energy. That's knowing what you're worth, baby. That is like nobody tells the emperor, boo, <clears throat> you ain't shit. Okay, that doesn't happen with the emperor, okay? I said a bad word. I'm sorry, guys. If you hate it, click off. I'm doing my best to get through this one with, like, three bad words. Um, you know, and it feels good. We have the ten of pentacles and the three of cups. You out here flossing, okay? Out here having a good time. Really enjoying time with like your real friends you see how this was like a bunch of people you're narrowing down your circle here so only the close people you're happy you're celebrating some of you might be coming into some sort of like um financial blessing okay you might be getting some finances together here with this 10 of pentacles it's like getting what you want on a uh, material level right so your house taken care of or you know bills paid whatever it's like you got you seem to have some of your financial stuff together here <clears throat> but you're going out relaxing getting together with the people that actually care about you all right um, and celebrating and I think you're celebrating some of this commitment to yourself I think you're celebrating the commitment to yourself, letting go of all the junk, all the toxic things and people. Um, and it's a light feeling. You're healing. You're doing a lot of work here, uh, Libra. I almost called you Aries. So you should be proud of yourself, Libra. All right. Um, and then, oh, wow. What do I see here, Libra? So since you're doing all this healing and you've kind of shifted things around here in November, right? Uh, Pisces energy with the hanged man. Um, you took some time to be with yourself. All right. And the more you're clearing out these toxic people and these toxic things, the more you are making room for none other than the Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Slow clap. All right. And the four of wands. So you got somebody who really wants to, I think here, be in some sort of commitment with you. All right. Um, or they at least want to date and have a really good time. They want some sort of stability. They want something to happen here. Okay. So the energy shifts here in November for, for what I am feeling as a reader. Um, and you are meeting somebody, I think... You're going to date. I think you're going to do some healing. I think, you know, love is coming your direction here and it's going to be fun. I don't think it's going to be heavy. It's not going to be like, oh my God, this has to be a commitment right now. Um, but I think that it's something that could lead to that. All right. This is really good. You have, you have a shift. Something's changed in you. It's a powerful shift with the hangman. Overall energy, queen of wands, feeling yourself out here rocking the world with the judgment okay it's a new you you're reborn i just had to do that dramatic i don't know guys listen it's late at night when it gets late at night i get really silly i promised myself i wasn't gonna get silly in this reading and here i am weird all day okay so yeah really feeling very powerful feeling sexy, feeling motivated, feeling inspired, feeling yourself independent, free. Like this is so much better than the energy we started out with. You guys have been dragging earth, right? I'm not going to say the bad word. You know what I mean? You've been dragging booty. Okay. You're not anymore. Look at this. This is the energy of a person who is ready for the next thing. Okay. Um, and with judgment, it's like surrendering. You're surrendering a lot of really heavy things that you don't need to carry anymore. Any toxic people, that kind of stuff. Okay. I think you're discovering things about yourself too. Um, going deep here. I think you're really discovering something new, you know, surrendering. Some of you, you're surrendering your old ways. You're just surrendering your old ways. 
You're surrendering the person who's always got to be fiercely, overly independent to the point where people can't really, you know, they can't dive deep with you. You end up just listening to people's stuff because you're the strong person that they always come to. But guess what? You know, you don't always get to be the strong person. Sometimes you get just get to be the person who's vulnerable enough to share too, right? So I feel like that's part of your shift for you guys, all right? So... Let's go ahead and see if there are any other cards here for you, Libra. This is what I see coming up. And then I'm going to read these, um, these pre-shuffle cards. Any other messages here for Libra, please? Wow. <clears throat> Anything else for Libra? Yeah, follow your intuition, guys. Something deeper is telling you it's time to like, you know, it's a wolf with the instinct. It's a neutral card, but it's like it moves. It, wolves typically move in packs, but this feels more like the lone wolf, right? I think some of you are really looking for your tribe. You know that the people you've had around you, they don't serve you, right? They would talk trash about you in a hot second probably or do things behind your back. They're not there for you like you are there for them. I think you're, you know that and you're listening to your instincts. You're listening to that thing that's calling you and you're clearing out a bunch of energy so that in being in, in being in that like lone wolf, you'll start attracting others to you, drawing people to you that uh, want to be part of that family, if that makes sense. They want to be part of that more intimate sort of wolf pack right um we have insecurity and we have perfection these are both uh sacral chakra base chakra root chakra whichever you want to call it red energies here insecurity and perfection so you could have some insecurities uh maybe you think oh i'm not good enough i'm not perfect you know comparing yourselves to other people could be doing that a lot that could be cropping up for you here in november some of you may want to like modify yourselves or things like that maybe you're really worried about your beauty but beauty really radiates from the inside out even I've seen some women or some men and I'm like oh my god and they're with the finest person and I don't think they're attractive at all and even my girlfriends or my guy friends would agree with me but they radiate something that's what's attracting this here. That's what's going to attract this person that's coming in now wants to romance you and have a good time with you. You could even meet this person. You could be going to a wedding, um, some sort of party, engagement, something like that. Okay. Um, I think this person is going to make the time that you have with them very, very happy. They may want something, you know, to settle down with you eventually but you could meet this person like at some sort of wedding party engagement something some place where people come together okay could be even a twin flame energy coming here because the two fours are like 11 11 um but yeah you have that energy that you're going to be maybe dealing with a little bit that insecurity and that perfection so that's just something to be mindful of and take a look at where it comes from and why you have that all right um, you got the talent card and I thought that this was so cool. This is my brand new deck that I love. I'm so in love with it. It's called the Spellcasting Oracle deck. So talent, I think that many of you have a hidden talent or a talent that you have not been utilizing. And I think you're going to start working with that here in November. All right. Um, so I definitely feel like, yeah, see, and we have Taurus energy. I have, I look at this like your financial abundance as well. When it comes to Taurus, I always think of money with Taurus and Capricorn because, you know, earth signs, um, but I feel like this is about you having talent. So I think you guys are going to explore not what you're missing in November, but what you actually have, what you can work with, what you can create something with, and maybe what your actual talents are and how to utilize those to, you know, be living in your purpose or make money or whatever it is for you. 
Um, we then have the void of course moon. That's kind of like when nothing's happened, but there's no course missing. So you might have felt or be feeling at times like something's missing here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm feeling off. I'm feeling off track. Remember I said you kind of don't know, you know, you might feel like you don't know where you're going. I, I feel like by the end of November, even early December, you guys are going to know where you're going. It's going to be very clear for you, okay? But you're still working on clearing up some of this energy with these weird attachments and people. You might even have like drug addicts around you or something weird, right? It could be even things that they're hiding that you don't know about, okay? But be very careful about the company you keep. Um your financial situation seems like it's okay. We don't have a lot about it. It just seems like this card, this 10 of pentacles comes up for me that way. Um, you know, and you could very much be missing somebody. Uh, the somebody could be you or it could be some other people. But I feel like too, when things slow down like this to a halt, it's about seeing the bigger picture. It's about not missing the little things that are constantly pointing you in the right direction. Sometimes we will often mistake our thoughts for our intuition when we have a nagging feeling. There's a distinction between our thoughts that repeat itself and our intuition, which won't let us go. If your intuition won't let you go about something, listen to that message in November, okay, guys? I think you're going to be um, experiencing a lot of your intuition, all right? But definitely time for you guys to find your wolf pack and run free. I like this. I like this reading. This is a great reading, all right, Libra? So this is what I have for you. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. I truly appreciate it. If you like this video, if you got a little nugget from it, if anything resonated for you, please go ahead, show your girl some love, like the video, and if you really like it, please go ahead and subscribe. See you next time, guys. Bye.